You're made of with that, um, fresh new tune of yours. That's all well and good, but we can't perform a concert without a proper venue, now can we? Hmm. Yeah, finding a venue will be kind of a challenge, won't it? Oh! Well, what is it? I think I know a place. Sing a song, babe, today for you. No one else here, these planes, my stages. Oh, yeah, where that weirdo was performing earlier. Yep, exactly. We'll need equipment, though, won't we? Equipment, you say? Let me tell you a little story. I'm the proprietor of Silver Sound. It's an audio specialty store here in Akihabara. Been running it for nearly 20 years now. That's an awfully long time to run a business here. I hear you. But Silver Sound will cover all your audio needs, amps, speakers, headphones, you name it, we got it. That owned a dude should have us covered. At least if his sales pitch is to be believed. I think he was on Junk Street. Place. Hello, and welcome to Silver Sound. Hi, um, we're looking to put on a live show. You happen to sell any equipment we could use for that? A live show, huh? Yeah, I want everyone to hear my awesome new song. But I don't even have a single speaker or microphone to my name. Oh, so you're talking gear then. Who boy, are you in for a treat? Frankly, I'm kind of shocked that a young kid like you's got such an interesting audio kit. So do you have anything I could work with? Oh yeah, for sure. Though I really can't recommend buying this kind of gear without doing your research beforehand. How come? I take speakers, right? If you're the discerning type, they can jump up in price pretty fast. And if you're not, well, cheap ones can get pretty crackly. Low price begets low quality. That's the way the audio world rocks and rolls, my friend. Aw, I should have known. But I don't think that'll be a problem for you. Huh? Speaker or no speaker, if you pack your song full of feeling, the crowd will go wild every time. <laughs> Might lose my audio file card if people ever caught me saying stuff like that, though. I really do believe in the power of music. A voice chock full of emotion can pass through walls that even the strongest audio equipment can't rattle. So, give it your all, and I know you'll be just fine. Okay, thank you. Right then, once you got the deets worked out, by all means, give me a holler. I'll be right here, always am. He's right, isn't he? Nippity? Mr. Onda reminded me of something. I may not be dependent on a delusion anymore, but I was still about to put all my faith in some audio equipment. So Asahi, I'm not gonna rely on gear anymore either. It's gonna be all me from here on out. Oh, respect. Um, but I guess that leaves us back at square one. What do we do now? <sighs> yeah, that is the question, isn't it? Made to order food and drinks. Dine with us and say we made your day. Bring this flyer in for a free drink. Made you look. Aha, uh -huh, that's it. What is? Flyers. We can make a flyer for my performance. 
Oh, okay. That sort of makes sense. <laughs> After all, if they don't know the venue, how can they show up? Let's do it, Nippity. We can go to UBX to have them, uh, made. Me? Either way, UBX is said to be the cheap printing capital of Akiba. Great! I'll put my heart into some handmade flyers so people will come see me sing. Okay, we should be able to make all the flyers we need right here. What do you mean? Done and done. Oh, wow. They're really cute. Yep. But, uh, there's no date or venue written on them anywhere. Well, I mean, with the way things have been lately, we can't exactly commit to a date, now can we? No, I suppose not. So I'll just add the date by hand later. Then I can decide what kind of venue would best suit my performance, too. All right. That's a pretty smart way to do it, actually. Though, so, hold on a sec. What is it? Saying you're gonna perform in public is all well and good, but is that... okay? Huh? Like with your agent. Don't you need to get permission to put on a concert? My... agent? Yeah. You can't just put on concerts whenever you want, right? Idols have to coordinate shows with their agents. Whether it's a big delusion-sized event or a tiny shindig, it'll be a risk to your career not to at least check in. I hear about that all the time. It's the bane of idolhood. What do you mean? What do you mean, what do I mean? Your big show may have ceased to exist when we nullified the delusion, but you are still an up-and-coming idol, right? You've even got devoted fans, like old Goggles. Yeah, I guess I do. Which means... Nippity? <laughs> <laughs>